And welcome back to Let's Play Harvest Moon Hero Play Valley. Alright, it's raining. It's raining really, really hard, but that's fine. So yeah, in between episodes I did go back into my old footage and I basically just saw how far back we planted those uh, breadfruit seeds. If I did my math correctly, they should be ready today. So we're gonna go stop by there and take, uh, take a look. Also, yeah, off screen I already took care of all my animals, so they should be fine. I don't want any of them getting sick again. Because I think after this, if they get sick, we're going to actually have to uh, buy medicine ourselves. It's not that expensive, but we should probably avoid that as much as possible. Also, yeah, we still need to stop by the barn later. I guess on the way there, we can also stop by the woodcutter area and see if uh, it's raining. So I think Joe should be at home. I did double check what he loves. He loves lumber. A surprising amount of people in this game love lumber as a gift. It's kind of weird, but fine. I guess lumber can be used for a variety of things. Also, I guess he works with wood, so he kind of likes it. I would hope. I guess if you love something that, or if you do something that you love, it doesn't feel like work. And he loves wood. I think he also likes seafood dishes, like I said before, but I don't want to cook. That would involve cooking, which is something I am not good at. Oh God. All right, but yeah, let's go see if Joe is still home. It's early enough, I don't think he's left yet. To wherever he goes during a rainy day like this. Uh, I think he's in the main house. No, it looks like he already left. Darn it. Okay, fine. Let's go see if we can track him down. So, rainy days. Where does he run off to on rainy days? He's not at home. He might be... I think he hangs out in the bar in the afternoon, so I guess I'll stop by there. Uh, and see if he's there later. For now though, let's go see if the breadfruit is ready. If it is, we can just go directly- or deliver it directly to, uh, Ronald. Hopefully we find Joe at some point. Actually, no, I don't think he hangs out near the villa. Kurt hangs out near the villa because he likes Dia, but... I don't know where Joe hangs out. Also, we could call out the Harvest Goddess today, but she would get really, really angry. Especially on a super rainy day like today. Oh good, it is ready. I'll take that. And we will not accidentally throw it away. But yeah, we have the breadfruit. Why is it purple? Isn't it supposed to be still kind of yellowish? Well, whatever. I'm pretty sure breadfruit's not supposed to be purple. Is this bread going to turn out to be purple? People might not want to eat that. Well, maybe they'll think it's special. Alright, but anyways, now that we have the breadfruit, we can go deliver it. I guess while we're here, we can also do a bit of part-time work to make time go by faster. Anyways, Ronald, I have your breadfruit. It's supposed to be purple, right? I didn't accidentally grow something that I didn't- I wasn't supposed to grow. I don't know. Maybe the ground near the Harvest Goddess Spring is radioactive. That would actually make a lot of sense. Alright, but now that he has the breadfruit, he'll start baking the bread. And it's gonna be a little while before we uh, actually hear back from him. Yeah, we don't know where we put it, so... Hopefully it turns up again by next year. That was weird. Alright. Let's do some part-time work. Hello, chickens! Actually, can I just steal one? I don't think the game will actually let me steal one, unfortunately. Plus, our chicken coop is full anyways. Alright, it's noon. Let's go stop by the bar and hope that we can get this ending. If not, we'll keep befriending Joe. I guess our friendship with Joe just wasn't really high at the uh, beginning. Which is weird because we did catch the silverfish. Although I'm not sure if that actually requires any friendship or not. Oh hey! It took them like two weeks longer than usual, but we finally heard back about the silverfish. Also the lake is apparently called Maple Lake. I completely forgot about that. Oh, but yeah, since they have proof that there's a rare fish around here, that's another uh, point towards the nature preserve.
No joke! Help. He told me it existed. He also stole the fish from me so I couldn't eat it, but whatever. Heh, <laughs> poor Joe. Guys, it's endangered now. We probably shouldn't catch it. That kind of hurts the fish a bit. But yep. We discovered and told the world that the silverfish lives here. We are now the best fishermen in the valley. The absolute best. Alright. So yeah, now all that's left is the baker and snowball. Well, rare weasel, whatever. But other than those two, we're pretty much done until the end of the year. Nice. Also, I just realized I never accepted any requests for a fall, did I? Eh, I don't feel like doing any of these. It's fine. All right, let's sell these onions. I have a lot of onions. Uh, we'll sell our rice and all of our milk. Also, we're over 100,000 again. Nice. Can I make over 100,000? I don't think I can make 100,000 in a single season. We'll see. All right. So, yeah. All we need to do now is wait for Ron to finish baking his bread. That shouldn't take too long. I hope. Usually, bread can be baked in a day. Unless he somehow messes up and has to keep trying over and over again. Or if he just puts it off. Which is honestly kind of a Ronald thing to do. That being said, we have one season left until uh, the deadline. I mean, we're good now, but I kind of want that bread. Also, yeah, we're still waiting for them to get back to us about Snowball, but I think with this we should have... That's not my ending grid. We did it! We have Bingo! Uh, we got... Oh, we got double Bingo, actually. Nice! Awesome, we are done. Anyways, that's it for this LP. No, we're not done yet. We still have two more, three more, wait. Oh yeah, we do have three more endings to get to go. Cause I just remembered one of them is the Bluebird ending and one of them is the Mecha slash Funland slash Alice ending. All right. Anyways, let's head to bed. Hopefully the rain will stop by tomorrow. Also, yeah, since we already finished growing the breadfruit, we don't need that plot anymore. Nope, still raining. All right, that's fine. Ah, uh, it's raining, so I can't really plant anything. I mean, it, there's only six days left till the end of the season anyway, so there's no point planting anything right now. Who's a good dog? God still remember to feed the dog every day, otherwise he'll get sick. And if he gets sick, people will get angry at you. I don't think you will lose affection if you uh, let your animals get sick a second time, but I don't want to risk it. Because I'm pretty sure the person who loses the most affection is Gwen. And we kind of still need Gwen to really like us because we're not done with her path yet. Also, yeah, we're running low on fodder. I can fix this. I mean, oh wait, no, no, no. I was going to say we could get sick now because there's nothing else to do right. But no, I forgot. Tomorrow's the horse race. We need to actually not be sick for that. I don't think they'll let you compete if you have a cold. All right, that should be enough fodder for now. Let's go get the animals fed. Other than that, I don't think there's anything else we need to do at the moment. Well, I'll try to make money, I guess, but we can make money anytime. I guess we could go fishing just for fun for once. We haven't done that for a while. You know what, let's go fishing for a bit. Also, do I still have those egg or eggplant? No, we don't have the uh, rare breadfruit seeds anymore, the spare ones. I guess we gave them back to uh, Ronald when we planted the seeds. Oh well. Shame we couldn't keep them though. I would love some extra, uh, extra breadfruit to sell. All right, let's do a bit of milking. Also, yeah, technically, we I think we can plant anything at the uh, Square next to the Harvest Goddess Spring now. We're not going to because it's not really worth it, but we could. I think we could also plant stuff in the Sacred Land too if we wanted to. But yeah, I'm so glad this path didn't break somehow. I think it is just a glitch that somehow, that sometimes that uh, second event triggers after you catch the fish.
All right, let's get our chickens fed. Who wants feed? I'll grab the eggs in a second. I, I don't want to risk killing them outside in the rain. Even the little bit of time they spend outside, they might get sick. I'm just paranoid about my chickens getting sick at this point. That being said, we could just go around town and see how everyone's doing. I mean, there's literally no need to worry about uh, Lee Valley going down anymore. This area is just super, super valuable. In fact, it might be kind of absurdly valuable now that I think about it. There are rare plants that live here, rare, f a rare fish, rare fossils apparently, rare animals, uh, what else? We have world famous cake, a world famous dress, a uh, world famous painting, a world famous statue apparently, a world famous inventor, I guess. What, I guess Lewis is the attraction for that path. Everyone wants to come see his inventions, I guess. All one of them. Well, no, he's invented other things. He's also invented seeds that turned out to just be potato seeds, but whatever. Man, we have a lot of world famous things. A world famous horse that lives here. Uh, I guess, uh, what else do we have? I feel like I'm missing, oh right, we have a world, a world famous like super rare temple in our mind. I completely forgot about that. Yeah, this area is just really famous now. There's no way can t they can tear it down. You know, unless they paid everyone to just move out. That could possibly work. Actually, yeah, that would almost definitely work. Oh, I was gonna go to the uh, grocery store to see if I knew some part-time work, but it's Sunday, everyone's closed. Oh well. What if Katie's home? We haven't been to Katie's room for a while. Hi, Katie. Oh, by the way, remember that fish we found? Wait, what do you mean you're dis dissatisfied? Oh, yeah, well, Joe made me uh, release it when I caught it, okay? We could have just taken a picture of the fish. Well, I guess a scale also works. Also, that's still an adorable Weird. I think that's supposed to be a bear. I'm not really sure what that is. But yeah, unfortunately we couldn't keep the silverfish. Do you think Ponto would have liked the silverfish? I'm still not sure if we can catch it again. I don't think we can. Alright. Let's see, where have we not been for- Oh, we haven't been to the church for a while. Let's go see what they think about all this. After all, we literally caught it right outside of their door. I'm still sad I didn't get to show off, like, the horse glitching out. I don't know, he's been really weird, well behaved this playthrough. Normally, he's just glitching through the floor all the time. Especially the bridges. He does not like bridges. Oh, by the way, we found the Harvest Goddess Temple. I... Honestly, would not put it past him at this point, now that I think about it. Yeah, he could probably move down there. Just without telling anyone. I guess... You guys might be hyping up the statue a bit too much for the people. I don't know, it looks weird for me for some reason compared to the Harvest Goddess. I think it's the lack of wings. The wings really put her design together, otherwise she just seems too tall and skinny. Oh, speaking of Chester. Hey, Chester. Nope. Definitely no other connection to the Harvest Goddess. She's definitely not living right next door to you guys. Wait, what? Hold on. What? I might have missed a line there. Why did he start talking about disco? I might have looked away for a second. Actually, yeah, a lot of the ending paths now that I think about do have to do with the Harvest Goddess. Her temple, her statue, her... 
uh, what is it? Her dress? Her painting? Yeah, about like a quarter of the endings deal with the Harvest Goddess. I guess that makes sense. A town where the Harvest Goddess literally lives in would probably be famous for works uh, relating to her. <clears throat> Alright. Yeah, I guess that would make sense, actually, now that I think about it. Okay. Maybe the silverfish was also a piece of the goddess. Or it's just a super rare fish. Who knows? Alright, uh, let's head over to the villa real quick. Also, hi, Woody. Don't worry. Why wasn't worried about that, actually? Is there something you want to tell me about my house's foundation? Did Woody skimp on my foundation and my house is just going to wash away one day? That's kind of a terrifying thought. I think we're just going to stop by the villa and then go to bed. Oh yeah, tomorrow is race day, so we need to start preparing for that. By preparing, I mean we're doing the steeplechase, so there's not much preparing we need to do. I think stamina is more important than speed, though, so we're going to bring our roots instead of our carrots. Also, did you hear about the silverfish? Oops. Yeah, that's true. Maybe you guys should just get a dryer. Also, how do you enjoy the Harvest Festival? That is true. We could have also sent them a blue feather if it weren't for the fact that I screwed up that path, but whatever. It's fine. You can always buy blue feathers. Actually, yeah, if the bluebird is so rare, how can everyone propose with a blue feather? Actually, maybe that's why the bluebird is rare and endangered. Actually, no, I'm pretty sure all the blue feathers... I think they mentioned it in Save the Homeland, but I think all the blue feathers people use to propose are, like, artificial. I might just be making that up. It's just a very shiny fish. Alright. Also, yeah, nothing exciting happened in this town. We didn't totally find a secret garden right behind your villa. Filled with magical seeds. Okay, they weren't magical seeds. They were kind of just really hardy seeds, but same thing. Speaking of the uh, sacred land, we haven't been there for a while. Yeah, honestly, we could use this to plant more stuff, but... Nah, we have our fields for that. If I ever ran out of space, I guess I could come here, but I don't think I would ever run out of space. It just takes way too long to water that many crops. And honestly, crops aren't really super profitable in this game, I've noticed. Like, compared to milk and animal products, they just take too long and don't sell for a whole lot. It's kind of weird, actually. Some games are tend to be the other way around. And then there are some games where you can just break the game by turning your crops into seeds and then selling those instead. Because for some reason seeds are just worth so much more than just single crops. That only works in games where you can sell directly though, so anything, anything that relies on like the shipping bin doesn't really work. It doesn't work in this game either. Mostly because there's no seed maker, as far as I know. And uh, what is it? There's no seed maker and we can't sell seeds directly. Anyways, let's head to bed. It's been a long day. Actually, no, it hasn't. Yesterday was a long day. Today was just kind of a lazy day. As is what usually happens whenever it rains a lot. Tomorrow's gonna be sunny no matter what. So glad we finally have Bingo on our uh, ending grid. Okay. So, race day? Race day. Alright, we'll head over there in a bit. Yeah, there's no winter races like usual. Man, if Elite Valley was going to be torn down, this would literally be the very last race ever. Well, actually, no, they would just move somewhere else, but either way. So, 
In that case, I think I'm going to end the episode here. So next time on Let's Play Harvest Moon Hero Peak Valley, we're going to participate in our very last race. Until next year. I'm actually not sure if we're going to be doing any races in year three, but we'll see. So, till then. Hi, doggy. Good boy, Hank. <laughs>